What is consciousness? Well, the short answer is we don't know. Now, when we lay down at night and we dream, are we visualizing or are we actually going somewhere? Do we think our consciousness is in our brain or does it go on its own journey? Write it down. Any history of substance abuse? No. I mean, recreation, but not, not abuse, no. Okay. Any history of mental illness, depression, anxiety, bipolar? Depression. Have you always suffered from depression? No. When did it start? Uh, about three years ago. Um, had a bit of a breakdown. You were psychotic? No. Um, what, what caused the depression? My friend died. And I felt like I didn't get to say goodbye. She um, was always the person that I would... I can't stop thinking about it. You know, um, I can help you. If, if, if that is something that you would like to explore. Deep breath. Now one more. Wonderful. Now lie down. Now there have been countless publications which support the theses that some psychedelics possess antidepressive properties. Now studies have time and time again shown the effects hallucinogenics have on the brain. However, it has always been believed that these experiences are purely fabrications of the subconscious and confined solely in a patient's imagination. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we seek to prove that those experiences are real and are happening in real time, somewhere parallel to now. And Julie is on her own journey now, a journey of self-discovery and self-love. Uh, what's the compound reaction on a molecular level for this chemical? What? Now, as her consciousness unravels the core of her grief, it is fabricating an existence only accessible to her. Now, we can't see her pupils, but look at the pulse on her neck, the sweat on her face. What is happening to her may be in the mind, but it is eliciting a physical response. This is common with DMT, LSD, mycelium, but with my creation, we can take it one step further. All it takes is a rush of serotonin and, and there. Salt water. She, she's fabricating the ocean. Unfortunately, serotonin is the weakest catalyst in our biochemistry. Oh, look, she's waking up. How are you feeling? Alive. Dostoevsky said, 
But pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. Oh, did he? Oh, I had no idea. But I say, when you go deep into your soul, you find beauty. I just got chills. <laughs> Any history with substance abuse? No, I'm teetotal. Any history of mental illness? No. And any issues with sleep nope. or any history with... No. Nope. Can we move on from this, please? Okay. Thank you for your time. Are you joking? Why are you here, Max? You're paying me. To participate, yet you won't answer any of my questions. I don't need your psychoanalysis. Man, you don't have to be scared, Max. I'm not scared. Then participate. I watched your interview. You know, the one about um, consciousness going on its own journey. Oh, you did, huh? I actually thought it was really good. You know, um, some of what I've experienced when tripping, you know, I've often wondered if it's real. Oh, I thought you were teetotal. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed at you. The professors that you were addressing, you can hear it in the background of the video. When I first watched it, I thought, um, yeah, these guys don't know what they're on about. This man, I've experienced what he's describing. But now I'm here, you're just gonna waste my time. I'm sorry, Max. You're gonna get everything that you came here for. You truly deserve it. Thank you. Asshole. Good. And one more. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen what happens with serotonin. Now let's observe what happens with adrenaline. A slight tremor, it, it can happen as the drugs take effect. It begins. I think he's seeing something beautiful.
What is consciousness? Well, the short answer is we don't know. <laughs>